And that is why this doctrine needs to be hammered home because you've got some novice idiots preaching today that, that have, had early on associated themselves with the new IFB movement. And I'm talking about Great Harvest Baptist Church. They have Baptist in the name. They have Baptist in their name. They don't believe in the sainthood of the believer. They believe that some believers are going to go to hell. Wait, how are you Baptist again? Yeah, we're going to call them out by name. Tyler Doka believes these, these damnable heresies. His, his evangelist, what, uh, uh, Just, Justin LeBlanc, is that his name? Does anyone, I, don't want, I don't want to get his name wrong. Is that right? These heretics preaching this false gospel, damnable heresies, and deceiving many. I mean, they started off with their flat earth stupidity, but that's, you know, that's not something that I'm going to be so worried about calling them out. Like, I, I just think they're idiots for believing that. But this just goes to show that, they, um, that they're not saved, and it's even worse than I than originally thought. Because they're teaching these, these horrible doctrines, and they need to be called out. And, you know, they didn't come up with this on their own. Uh, originally, I mean, it comes from the Catholic Church. This idea of, of a purgatory place, of people of believing not being enough to enter into the kingdom of God or the kingdom of heaven. And, you know, I knew that they believed this garbage as soon as they started preaching against the sainthood of the believer and as soon as they started preaching on the kingdom of heaven or kingdom of God. Because what they're doing is they're trying to prop up their, their final sermon about believers going to hell because you have to see it's such a severe such a twisted doctrine it impacts so many other places of scripture i mean it turns everything on its head if you're going to try to use any type of scripture to promote such garbage of people being saved by their works because that's what they'll say oh no no we believe salvation is by grace through faith but you know where they're getting this from at least recently and again this guy also isn't the, the creator of the doctrine, but in recent times, he's, he's had a big influence in pushing this doctrine. It's Joey Faust. Joey Faust, formerly of Kingdom Baptist Church in Texas, currently of Long Run Baptist Church in Missouri. I don't know why all the cult leaders want to go to Missouri and, and get people on their compounds there, but it seems to be a hotbed for, for cult leaders to go to. Joey Faust, a man who he wrote this book, The Rod, Will God Spare It, which probably wouldn't have even had as much exposure as it had, except that idiot Kent Hovind went around promoting that book and said, oh yeah, you got, I don't know if I actually believe all this, but hey, you should read it and check it out. I mean, there's a lot of stuff there to think about. A man that has a lot of clout and influence through his creation ministry is, is even suggesting people go and read a book that says that believers can spend a thousand years in the lake of fire. A thousand years. Think about that. Think about a thousand years. I mean, think about one minute in hell. One minute being burned and tortured. I mean, how long would that one minute last? You burn yourself just for a second and that hurts and that stings and that's going to stay with you for a long time. One minute, I mean, think about people who go in a fight, you know, you have 90 second rounds or three minute rounds or whatever, and you're like super exhausted, but that's just regular fighting. You're not just in flames being tortured and having the wrath of God just poured out on you. A thousand years. 